Hi everyone, this is Bill Binko from AT Makers, and for the National Week of Making, I'm really proud to share our most recent project, Engineering Ella. Before we go on, it's probably important that you learn a little bit about Ella. Ella Hunt was born with uh, spinal muscular atrophy, type 1. It's a debil debilitating illness that affects the ability for the body to create motor neurons. What that means is that over time, starting at birth or a little bit thereafter, uh, the motor function of the body will break down and slowly uh, the body will no longer function. This has no impact on her ability to think, on her cognitive ability, uh, on her ability to, to experience life other than the ability to move. When we met Ella, she was basically trying to control her power chair. And she only has the ability to control a left and a right hand switch, and this was a significant challenge. Denise, Ella's physical therapist, found a solution online in the SMA Adaptability Facebook group. Jonathan Lasco from Maryland had rigged up an Arduino-based system that let his son Max control his chair and an avatar in Second Life using just two switches. The left turns left, the right turns right, and both switches together drive forward. This is exactly what Ella needed. Now, Jonathan is a maker in his own right, and he had helped us on a lot of projects on AT Makers, uh, and he was able to bring this to our community and get some additional help and make this work. So AT Makers got started on that, and I started looking for somebody in her area who had a great STEM program who'd be able to support her, both with this particular project and also her other needs. It turns out Penn High School was a great solution. Penn High School has a great program. They've got a great engineering program, a great first uh, competition robotics team. They've won numerous awards, chairman awards, uh, regional championships. They've got a fantastic technical skill set right there, just a few miles down the road from where Ella lives. And they've got a great facility for her to come and practice in. They've got great teachers and great kids who want to help. What AT Makers did was they introduced these two. Turns out Ella's mom, Erica, had gone to Penn, knew it well, but honestly didn't know that there were resources there that could help her. So we did that introduction. We also did the initial engineering on a box that lets Ella control her power chair. So we delivered that, we introduced her to the robotics team, and they've really taken her under their wing. Since that initial delivery and introduction, they've sent kids out to her house, um, they've uh, measured her for making better uh, placement uh, guards for her, for her hands to be able to uh, control her switches, and I've got a great video I was just sent that shows Ella working with the kids at their high school as they practice using her new control box, and more importantly, using the new mounts that they have for her arms that make it easy for her to control the device. This is the Penn High School team that has been helping work with us on better hand positioning. They've also been helping with some programming on her switch. She's doing awesome. So today we put new, um, they designed little troughs to help hold her hand in because they were falling off and a better way to hold her switches. She comes over here, I think. Hey, Ella, can you drive right up to me so I can show the camera your switches? Now we didn't rebuckle your seatbelt, so no accidents. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Are you liking it? Are they doing a good job? Cool. Nicely done, Ella. Yeah, you can go. Yeah. In addition to the physical controls that they've made, they've also been a great help with AT Makers in that they can install the Arduino changes that we send them. So we've made some, some, some modifications, sent it up to David, who's one of the teens who works there, and he's able to upload those into the actual box that controls the device. As you can see, Ella's doing great. 
She's absolutely moving about on her own. The amount of mobility, her mom says, is off the charts. Uh, Life-changing, all kinds of great words like that uh, to describe what's happening. More importantly for me, not more importantly, but at least as important for me, is that the high school kids also light up around her. They're introduced to a child who's got enormous challenges and is, and is fighting anyways. They're able to work with her hands-on and get that empathy to understand you know, that the things that they're dealing with are probably smaller, but even when they're big, they're seeing that they can impact somebody else's life, that the skills they have today in high school are enough to really impact somebody and make them have a better life immediately. I think it's really important. I think it's a wonderful th thing to introduce to makers that the things that you make today can impact somebody else's life. As you can see, I'm really proud of this project. Uh, I want to thank Adafruit for making the, the parts that we need and also for being as supportive as they are. Uh, Dorothy from Nation of Makers for making things like uh, Nation of Makers happen, especially the folks at Penn, the, all the coordinators there. Uh, that are going to continue this on, right? This isn't a one-time project. They're going to continue to talk to Ella, to talk to Erica, her mom, and find out what do you need, how can we help? You know, that, that kind of adoption is important, and I love it. I think it's exactly what I want to make. You know, it's what AT Makers wants to do. I'd like one of these in every major city in the country where if somebody needs AT help, they can go locally and find an engineering team ready to help them. If you or your team would like to get involved and learn what kind of AT opportunities there are nearby, or if you've got an assistive technology challenge, if you've got a child who needs something and you think maybe this shouldn't be this hard to get and makers in your area might be able to help out, let us know. Go to atmakers.org, sign up at the bottom, or probably easier, just join us on Facebook. Uh, the AT Makers Facebook group's uh, available. You can all join. We say yes to everybody. It's only private because of spam. Uh, we'd love to have you. We'd love to find out what you need or what you're willing to do to help. Have a great National Week of Making, and as always, good luck and have fun.